now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. And what if I fail? I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then.
Monseigneur His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Your eminence? Your... God damn it, your eminence! I can't feel his pulse. He's dead. What the hell is going on here? I've got to let Mortimer and Holm know about this. Can you tell us how you found him, Louis? I went to speak to him about the conference. I I knocked on his door. As there was no answer, I, I went in and I, I saw him exactly where he is now. I took his pulse, but it was too late. William? Nothing to do with me, Gregory, if that's what you mean. And you? Of course not. Poor Giuseppe was with me. I had no interest in getting rid of him. Louis? Me? Of course not. No, I thought as much. I was wondering if you had any idea about what might have happened. I know who might have held a grudge against him. Really? And who might that be? Well, it's... it's awkward. Don't worry. You can talk in front of me, Louis. I gave no such order. And if it concerns one of my guests, I need to know their identity. Well, there's... Mr. Von Volner. Johan? Hmm. Continue, Louis. Why do you think Johan would have had a grudge against his eminence? I heard him making threats. When he tried to attack me earlier, Piaggi stepped in and... Mr. Von Volner swore he would get even. Gregory! Wait, William! You mustn't judge Johan prematurely. Under my roof! William, if Johan has anything to do with this tragedy, I demand the right to take care of it personally. He knew the rules, and I will not tolerate him attacking a guest like this. I'm asking you to let me handle it. It's against my better judgment, but... permission granted. Don't make a mess of it, though, or I'll take care of him personally. Very well. I'll be about my business. I will find out exactly how this happened. Thank you for informing us, Louis. I shall inform everyone that his eminence has had to return to the continent for personal reasons. I must ask you to keep it to yourself. If Von Volner is the murderer, what's going to happen to him? He may be Gregory's son, but if he hasn't departed within the hour, I'll take care of him myself. It will not be pretty. A lifetime as a masked servant should cleanse him of the desire to commit an act like that ever again in my house. Huh, that's me. Duke Manuel Godoy. Duke Manuel. Doriche, I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying In him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? He looks very sure of himself. I wonder what he's got planned. Turns out that you're about to lose everything. Is that all? I've been given to understand that Lord Mortimer was going around you by dealing directly with the king. If you don't join him as soon as possible, you'll be deposed by your own sovereign. Louis, not only will you realize that I am the head of the government, but you'll come to learn it's not the king who needs cajoling. What do you mean exactly? Behind every great man, there is a great woman. 
Unfortunately for you, the place is already taken. I have already taken care of it. So I advise you to warn Mortimer to change strategies. Even so, something is wrong. No, really. Is that all you have? Right. Let us save time and stop the charade, Luis. In all friendship, I must say, this conference has allowed you to learn from the very best. But you're going too fast, in my opinion. Damn it. No good. I haven't persuaded him. You ought to grant me one more minute. That's enough, Luis. I have already stretched Sir Gregory's recommendations by granting you these few minutes. Enough is enough. I bid you good luck. I bid you good evening. And may the best man win. Yes, we shall see. Well played, Louis. At this rate, Louisiana is likely to remain Spanish forever. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Jacques Perru. Johann van Wunder.
Here comes Von Volner with Holm. The scoundrel wastes no time. Louis, what are you doing here? I promised you I would take care of Mr. Von Volner. Everything's under control, don't worry. Let me speak to him. Now, now. I told you, I will take care of Johan personally. Believe me, even though it pains me, he will pay the price. Now we're waiting for Duke Manuel, so would you leave us, please? Very well, but you'd better keep your word, sir. That is certainly my intention. He'll only see Godoy, but what on earth does he want from him? He'll only see Godoy, but what on earth does he want from him? He'll only see Godoy, but what on earth does he want from him? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Yes, is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working, that's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Understand what came over you, Johan? It's inexcusable. I thought I was doing the right thing, helping you. To... Helping me? Are you joking? You can no longer stay here. What? But why not? If you stay here, you are as good as dead. Even I cannot protect you for long. But father, no. You don't know William. You're going to leave the island immediately. There's no other choice. I couldn't have known. If I had even guessed. It's too late. Make haste. Don't say goodbye to anyone. You will probably never see them again anyway. I'll apologize to them on your behalf. So? So I have to go? I'll meet you in Berlin. Hurry now! Are you leaving, sir? Yes. Well, I find myself... Johan! Duke Manuel! Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner is leaving? Indeed, lass. Some business that simply can't wait. But don't worry. Our plans haven't changed. We shall easily win the vote. At this rate, there won't be anyone left to vote. I trust you completely. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest.
Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? I have some bad news, Father. I'm listening. None of them agreed to join us. They what? all- What? What on earth happened? Well, either they aren't convinced by the project or they think it's a lost cause. But you had the means to persuade them, Louis. How could you have failed me like this? I'm sorry. I should never have let you handle it. I had too much faith in you. I was blind. You weren't ready. What an imbecile I am. Don't blame yourself. Leave me, please, Louis. I have to think the situation through. But I... Louis, go. Very well. I'll let you be. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. I would like to add that, unfortunately, Monsieur von Volner has been called away at the last moment and will not be able to participate in the vote. A and that is not all. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. And finally, Cardinal Piaggi has also decided to leave us and will not be able to attend the conference. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? Against. Monsieur Napoleon? For. President Washington? For. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <laughs> You... you are mad, William! I will... I will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I... cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? Did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. 
You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help After me. several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. <laughs> Swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. Whoa. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Happening? Am I dreaming or? Louis! It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I. I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. History will remember. I deserve a great and destiny, the sacrifices and I will I let make. nothing, nor no one. Dear God, if I feet. lose the war against France, I will be doomed. But there must be a way. Sarah? I don't understand. Oh, merciful heaven. You can see me. Yes, Louis, I... I don't know what's happening, but you must help me. Look, j just calm down. I can't see you, Louis. I'm here right in front of you. No, I can't see you. The caves are deserted. I can't leave, Louis. Help me. You died. Died? No! What are you talking about? Look, I am right here. And, as you are my sister, it's possible that demons don't completely disappear after their physical bodies die. But, but how is that possible, dammit? I'm stuck here! I don't know, I'm, I'm only guessing. I, only your physical body is dead. Apparently your spirit is kept here. I daren't try understand. I, am I condemned? Look. Neither of us know anything about this situation, really. Help me, Louis. You are the first one, the only one to see me, to speak to me. 
Without you, I'll never get out of here. Don't leave me like this, I beg you. Listen, you have to stay positive. Seeing as I've entered the ether, I, I must be able to leave it. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Do you really think so? Rational and open, remember? I, yes, right. You are right. There must be a solution. But how come you can move around? I'm not dead. I don't understand. I think there are many things that you don't understand. It doesn't matter. I trust you. You are going to help me, aren't you? I must be getting on. I, I can't stay much longer. Louis, I beseech you. Promise you're going to help me. Of course I'm going to help you, Mother. Thank you, Louis. I trust you. Thank you. Me. Is anyone there? I'm all alone. Emma? What on earth? We only wanted to play. We... we didn't mean any harm. She sounds like a little girl talking. It's me, Louis. Oh, I know someone called Louis, but he abandoned me too. What on earth is wrong with her? It seems like her spirit has regressed. What are you doing here? I was playing. And who were we playing with? With my sister, but I can't find her. Tell me, Emma, is Emily here too? Emily is always here, but she makes fun of me. She keeps hiding in the shadows to make me scared. And I... I get scared then. I don't want to follow her in. I'm all on my own now. Oh man, what can I do? Poor thing seems completely lost. Everything is fine. Emma, don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. You'll see. I'm going to see if I can find Emily. I'll be right back. No, I don't want to be on my own anymore. I'll be right back, okay? Scum! Bastards! I'll get you back! You've all manipulated me! Help! Help me! Is there anyone there? Help me, please. I'm all alone. But there must be a way. Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Think, damn it. Think. But there must be a way. Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Think, damn it, help. Think, help me. What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You are nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amateurs you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes, not a minute to lose. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. God damn it. I don't understand a thing. I'm doomed. I can count on my father and my son to defend me. Yes. But will they make it in time?
keep an eye on them. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Won't let him attack his brother.
looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. My own sister. I should have left her to die when the Tsarina caught her. I really am so stupid. It was obvious that she would betray me one day. That bitch. Emily? Louis? Louis! Who on earth is... Louis, where are you? I can't see you. In front of you, Emily. She can't see me? Louis, are you dead too? It's complicated. I thought Emma killed you. Oh, yes, that's right. She still doesn't know everything I found out. I feel responsible for what happened to you, Emily. I made a mistake. I've been thinking it over. No one forced her, Louis. She would have ended up doing it in another place or another time, but she still would have done it. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to explain what's happening to us, Emily. Believe me, I'm just as lost as you are. But you can move around. Maybe because I'm not dead. If you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'll do everything I can to find a solution. You... you promise? Yes, trust me. I must go. Wait, wait, don't leave me. F for pity's sake, Louis. But I must if I'm, I'm to find a solution. Be brave, Emily. Yes, I understand. I trust you. I'll be back for you, I promise. Louis, help. Don't leave me. Louis, Louis, come back. I must be quick. My memories. I, I'm losing my sense of who. I, Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! Changes back then with my brother. I did everything in my power to avoid the Peloponnesian War, but he wouldn't listen. 
He always wanted more. Father wasn't gentle with William back then, shutting him in the body of Pericles for eight years and reducing Athens and its cursed democracy to its knees. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children, and Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually... This memory is important, but it's as if there's something missing. There must be an order to this. We concentrate, concentrate. I must concentrate on the important memories, the ones that led home into this situation. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... No, it's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And this memory is important, but it's as if there's something missing. There must be an order to this. It was a trap. It was a trap right from the start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters here. He knew it. He knew it! He already knew they were his daughters! At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this the This is the Hillsborough first assistance. event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. France! France! So much effort. So much wasted time. From Charles Martel to the wars of religion, I simply did not consider Protestantism to be a real threat, and that was my greatest mistake. My faith in Father and the Catholic Church that he administered made me blind. I can see that now. I lost France through 100 years of war. France! So much effort. So much mm, That's not the right direction. He allowed, he allowed me to bring Emily to this conference, supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference. No, not yet. Cherry on the cake. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I should come back to this later. Coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? There's something missing.
Who's there? Elizabeth? But I saw your body. You're dead. Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? <laughs> My name is Louis de Richet. William Alexander Mortimer's son. William. Uh, ah, I see. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Let's see what he... Uh, uh. Ah, yes. That is good. Come, open up. Ah, Louis Moha de Richer, son of William Mortimer. Now I see you. Damn it! I can feel the injuring inside me! I should know! William, you dirty traitor! No! No! Gregory! You have no right, William! You are violating the rules! My rules! I can't break the link! Get out of my mind! William should have taught you not to try to read just anyone's mind! It's pointless. Father! Help me! Louis! What's happening? Father! Ah, William! I can't feel you anymore. William, you dirty traitor. What did you do to Gregory? No, no not now. No! Louis, get out of here! Get out! Get out of here, Louis! Oh, holy shit! What am I doing? I should have been more careful. What would warn me about this? I didn't want to believe it. Incidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? There's something missing. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference, supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference. No, not yet. His children are gathered together? Yes, France, yeah. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. From Charles Martel to the wars of religion, I simply did not consider Protestantism to be a real threat, and that was my greatest mistake. My faith in Father and the Catholic Church that he administered made me blind. I can see that now. I lost France through 100 years of war.
previous conference, that's when Mortimer started putting his plan into action. That's how this whole thing began. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this. This is the Hills first Hills event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that he... What have I missed? I recall Spartacus. I recall Spartacus. But my exchanges back then with my brother. I did everything in my power to avoid the Peloponnesian War, but he wouldn't listen. He always wanted more. Father wasn't gentle with William back then, shutting him in the body of Pericles for eight years, and reducing Athens and its cursed democracy to its knees. I recall Spartacus. But my exchanges back then with my... I'm losing focus. Come on, Louis. Concentrate. Concentrate. conference three years ago. I'm sure he already knew I would bring this the This is the Hills first event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. France. So much air. So much wasted time. He's coming! He allowed me to... He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference, supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference, supposedly to find her sister. I'm on the right track here. Cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. And coincidentally, and coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richet, his son. He brings his four children together. And even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm Louis getting closer to him. What an adventure. It was so easy for me to sell your title of Marquis de Maintenon to Françoise d'Aubigné and to sail for the Caribbean islands. One of my greatest successes. With one stroke, I placed myself right next to the King of France with a mistress under my orders. And I was able to impose my law over the seas of the triangular trade. Anyhow, I should try to concentrate on his voice. Ah, Charles Francois. I'm getting carried away here. And coincidentally. 
And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him. And the cherry, and the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I should come back to this later. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference. I can't hold out. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. I recall Spartacus. And when Elizabeth dis and when Elizabeth disappeared, I no, it's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father. And I didn't say a word. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... France. Cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I should come back to this later. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children, and Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we... Getting to the end here. Changes back then with my brother. I did everything in my power to avoid the Peloponnesian War, but he wouldn't listen. He always wanted more. Father wasn't gentle with William back then, shutting him in the body of Pericles for eight years and reducing Athens and its cursed democracy to its knees. Cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me, quickly.
Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming! You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you! I'm sorry, Uncle, but I've decided to follow Father. But how can you trust him? He's my father, and there's so much he has to show me. I'm not responsible for what happened to you. That's your business, the two of you. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... But I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. What happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? 
Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. I've retrieved everything. Now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Louis, I was expecting you. Do you feel better? Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be all right. I wanted to speak with you about what's going to happen next. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. Of course, here you are, Father. Thank you. You wouldn't have been able to do much with it anyway, given it isn't the right one. You mean I got the wrong one? Now, don't blame yourself. There was a reason why I put it with all those copies. If you had been forced to use it, it would never have prevented one of us from changing bodies. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. I won't lie to you, I was surprised, and above all disappointed, when I found out you had tried to discredit me with His Holiness by writing a letter to the Papal States. Damn it! He found out! But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaget. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son. For you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... What about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no. You won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus, 
You can be very proud of yourself. W wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. Don't fight. I won. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. On his return to Paris, Peru gave himself up to his peers of the revolutionary courts. He admitted to being implicated in several state corruption cases. Found guilty of treason toward the Republic, he was executed without a trial. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months. <laughs>